Let's say we wanted to figure out what 3 sevenths minus negative 7 thirds minus 11 thirds is. Pause this video and see if you can have a go at it before we do it together. All right, now let's work on this together. And you might be tempted to deal with the negative 7 thirds and the 11 thirds first because they already have a common denominator. But you have to realize that subtraction, you can't use the associative property. It's not this, this for example, which is what you would typically do first, is not the same thing as this right over here. So you have to be very, very, very careful. But what we could do is rewrite this. Instead of saying sub minus something, minus something else, we could rewrite it in terms of addition. What do I mean by that? Well, if I have 3 sevenths, I'll start with that. Subtracting something is the same thing as adding that something's opposite. So subtracting negative 7 thirds is the same thing as adding the opposite of negative 7 thirds, which is just positive 7 thirds. And subtracting 11 thirds is the same thing as adding the opposite of 11 thirds, which is negative 11 thirds. Now addition, you can use the associative property. You could do the, you could add these two first, or you could add these two first. And I like adding these two first because they have the same denominator. So if I have 7 thirds plus negative 11 thirds, what is that going to get me? Well, we have a common denominator. We could rewrite it like this. 3 sevenths plus common denominator of 3. We could write 7 plus negative 11 in the numerator. And so 7 plus negative 11 is the same thing as 7 minus 11, because subtracting something is the same thing as adding its opposite. So for adding negative 11, same thing as subtracting 11. So 7 plus negative 11, you might, we could get a number line out, but hopefully you've gotten some practice now. That is going to be negative 4. That is negative 4. And so now we have 3 sevenths plus negative 4 over 3. And so now we definitely need to find a common denominator. So let me rewrite this. This is equal to 3 sevenths plus, let me write this, plus negative 4. Actually, yeah, this is fine. Plus negative 4 over 3, or I could write this as even negative 4 thirds, either way. But if we want to have a common denominator, it looks like 21 is going to be the least common multiple of 7 and 3. So let's rewrite each of these as something over. 21. 3 over 7, to go from 7 to 21, you multiply by 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. And then to go from 3 to 21, we multiply by 7. So if we have negative 4 times 7, that is negative 28. And so this is going to be equal to 9 plus negative 28 over 21, which is, this is the same thing as 9 minus 28 over 21, because subtracting a number is the same thing as adding its opposite. And so this gets us, let's see, if 9 minus 9 is 0, and then we're going to have 19 more to go below 0. So this is negative 19 over 21, or we could write that as negative 19 over 21. And we are done.